much of a jungle friend to you and me. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. Now when he gets in a straight, he'll make his escape with the help of his friend at eight, name eight. And then away he'll schlep on his elephant chef while Maggie and Ursula stay in step. I said, George, George, George of the jungle friend to you and me. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. The jungle doesn't interrupt his lunchtime for just anything. Stop! <laughs> Stop! Hmm. <laughs> Is it a cry for help? Stop! Are two enemies locked in mortal combat? Stop! Stop. Oh, oh, oh. Or is it the annual birthday batch of Howie the Howler Monkey? <laughs> Make a wish! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> it's a great big party, and you get a cake, a fire, and you get a fucking rhinoceros. Hmm, sounds like you're talking about a birthday party. Oh, oh, yes, a, a birthday party. <laughs> What's a birthday? A party for your birthday, remember? Hmm. Oh, George is having a hard time remembering something that's never happened. You've never had a birthday party, have you? George, I haven't had a crisp, crunchy termite all day. Could you get me one? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I thought you were afraid of termites. Ape! I can't believe George has never had a birthday party. We don't really know when he was born. I thought he was the same age as you. How old are you anyway? In ape years, I'm five. <laughs> the happiest memories of my whole life are at my birthday parties. Mine too. <laughs> Here we go. Crispy, crunchy, turd, mate. Hey, uh, what's wrong? Termite! George, knock it off. Oh, come on, get him! <laughs> no. Please. No. Please. No. Please. Please! Oh! Huh? We have got to throw George his own birthday party. We've got to get him a present. It's got to be something so perfect. <gasps> it makes up for all the years he's never had a birthday. Whatever it is, he'll be plenty surprised. <gasps> I'm getting a fucking rhino! <sighs> Sleeping. Uh, sleeping. Well, he doesn't need loincloths. <gasps> or anything rhino related. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I guess we'll have to brainstorm and come up with some ideas of our own. <laughs> So what did you get for George? A six-in-one frog zapper. It's a frog and it catches flies. Don't all frogs catch flies? But this one also catches mosquitoes, licks envelopes, changes light bulbs, and picks up coins that fall behind the dresser. That's five things. Maybe number six is it gives you warts. <laughs> I got your date. Now who would love these? What'd you get him? Something practical. Something he's always needed. Shorts? Uh, George has a thing about pockets. Help! Help! George to the rescue! Let's see. Rescue manual. Sandwich. Banana. First aid kit. Up. Oh. Second aid kit, compass, six in one frog zapper, cookie cookie bird, after sandwich snack, drink! Help already! Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> 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 
let's just make him a nice fruit basket. Everybody wants some kind of present. And we can't give him a birthday party until we make up our minds about what to give him. A fucking rhino! George wants a fucking rhino! Uh, is that George spying on us? No, uh, no! It's just us ostriches! Cluck, 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 cluck. Come on, that is not what we sound like. No! George is gonna love the gift we're getting him. Why, it's exactly what he wanted. And he'll never think to look at the top of Mount Way up there. <laughs> My fucking rhino! <laughs> At least now we can figure out what to get him in peace. <laughs> Friends hide George's present really well. Huh. Oh, nothing up here but this giraffe. <gasps> hey, wait a minute! Giraffe must be gift! Woohoo! I love it! <gasps> A fucking giraffe is even better than a fucking rhino! When we find the perfect gift for George, we'll know it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it! Okay, fucking giraffe! I told you I'm not your birthday present. <laughs> oh, no! George, not that easily fooled. Giddy up! Hey, quit kicking! Well, I've only got one to sell you, but I was just talking to another customer about it today. Then we're just in time. We want it. We'll take it. Well, my other customer can be pretty persuasive. Do you know El Grunty? Yeah. Why? He's the other customer. <laughs> Senor Howie, I have decided I must have the mechanical booking rhino. Actually, El Grunty, I was just about to sell the last one to my friends here. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> we just bought it. <laughs> no, my friend. It is I who am sorry. For whatever El Grunty wants, El Grunty gets. We duel. Whoever rides Bucking Rhino longest shall take home the prize. Great. Magnolia? Ape! <laughs> Well, okay. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, come on! I won't tell I found you before my birthday! George, I'm not lying! I'm just up here having a bite to eat! Oh, come on! Fuck now! Eat later! Yeah! <laughs> right on, giraffe boy! Whee! <laughs> that does it. Woohoo! This is more like it! Uh, uh, ole! Uh, <laughs> ole! Ah, holy! <laughs> ah, holy! <laughs> In <laughs> A new jungle record! Six hours, 38 minutes. The saddle is still warm, Senor Ape. <laughs> All right, then. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> okay. This is easy. Yes, the warm-up period is quite easy. It should be up to full speed soon. Oh, dear. <laughs> George would like cargo shorts, wouldn't he? The earrings I got him would look very elegant if he wore the right shoes. <laughs> Magnolia gave me these beautiful earrings. <laughs> oh! hmm. 
And look at all those pockets, my... <laughs> Thank you, Ursula. Uh, you're welcome. But my best present of all is the visit from my old pal, El Grunty. <laughs> what? Happy first birthday, old friend. <laughs> I hope you like your present. <gasps> my fucking Lido! Get <laughs> 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 Deep in the jungle, shut off from the conveniences of modern life, animals and man alike must create their own forms yeah. of entertainment. <laughs> like snake ball. Incoming! <laughs> Miss! Oh, yeah? <laughs> Of a witch doctor stick? Sorry. I just ate a hoagie. Too fully. Making a stew for me, for you. Hmm. Uh, that tastes just like a doggy's stew. Hmm. <laughs> I can fix that. Making a stew for me, for you. Yeah, yeah. past its expiration. I leave my witch doctor witch doctrine stick. Oh, ha! There it is. Now back to my shoe that won't taste like dog shoe. <laughs> it's just a stick. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, what would happen if your dad's witch doctor witch doctoring stick got broken, huh? Ah! Ah! My dad's witch doctor witch doctoring stick is broken? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, George was just wondering, that's all. <laughs> oh, huh. phew. Because my dad always told me that if anything happens to that stick, the jungle will be destroyed by evil spirits. Squirrel think evil spirits will destroy jungle. Earthquake, tornado, giant theme park with high-priced parking? Nah, I'm thinking a giant monster eats everything in its path. Plants, animals, people, everything. 
and then the entire jungle digests slowly in its gut. <gasps> Ah! <laughs> Oops. Oh, I'll get to it in a minute. What can I do for you, George? George needs help figuring out how to move something. Uh, what kind of something? Oh, the jungle. Just for a change of scenery, you know? When I want a change of scenery, I just back up the old camper. Because there's no frame. Remember how everyone always says they want to go camping? No. No, I don't. Right. So, surprise camping trip. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Where are we going? Someplace far away, so that when the jungle gets eaten to bits, we'll... Eaten to bits? Uh, no, uh, George said jungle is made of bits. Yeah, but now it's one big bit. But what are the other animals going to do without us? George way ahead of Abe. What's a uh, food court? <laughs> Road trip! Um, George, there's no motor on this thing. Right! As George pulled his friends to safety, he found renewed strength, even though his intense guilt slowly festered inside him. Or it may have been all that trail mix. I gotta go to the bathroom again. You know, it is kind of peaceful out here. Peaceful? Oh, oh, really? Oh, well, that's just what they want, Abe, to think while well, they plan our destruction. I think you need more trail mix. 68 bunches of bananas on the trees. 68 bunches of bananas. If one falls down, pass it around. 67 bunches of bananas on the trees. Everybody! Are we there yet? I'm getting car sick. Uh. I'm kidding. <sighs> no, I'm serious. <laughs> this trip is officially not fun. Why are we stopping, George? George sees an evil-looking rock! Neat! Can we go now? One moment! <laughs> 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 That's one evil spirit who won't get us. George will save you! Uh-oh. Now this trip is officially way not fun. Great! We're stuck in the middle of nowhere. No problem. George will get us back home. All righty, let's move them up. <sighs> it's like sitting in traffic, but there is no traffic. George, I know you wanted to have a nice trip, but maybe we should just go home? <gasps> yeah, I really miss home. Be right back. I gotta go to the bathroom again. We'll be here when you get back. Keep your eyes covered. George has big surprise. I hope it's a bathroom with toilet paper. Okay, open your eyes. <gasps> We're home? I'm going to wash my hair. No, George thinks we should just stand right here for a while and uh, not touch anything. Sorry, George, but I'm really hungry. Uh, surprise! Again! 
told you it wouldn't work. <laughs> George, what are we doing here? We wanna go back to the jungle! You can't! And it's all George's fault! What? Oh, George broke Witch Doctor's Witch Doctoring stick! So now, evil spirits are gonna eat the jungle! And us! <laughs> oh, I made that up when Magnolia was little, so she wouldn't mess with my stuff. <laughs> I have hundreds of these things. I break them all the time and nothing happens. Go ahead. See? Nothing. Hey! <laughs> You're right! Evil spirits. <laughs> okay, 